ट्रेजेडी अ ट्रेजेडी इज एन इवेंट और कोर्स ऑफ इवेंट्स विच मेक्स अ सैड फियरफुल स्केड एंशियस एंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एंग्री दिस इज अ डेफिनेशन ऑफ अ ट्रेजेडी अ ट्रेजेडी मेक्स आर कलरफुल लाइफ कंप्लीटली ब्लैक एंड व्हाइट most of the time we think that tragedy is something negative in our life what if i tell you tragedies are actually good for you what tragedy i will tell you how let us understand tragedies there are two types of tragedies one is anticipated tragedies and the other one are surprise tragedies anticipated tragedies are those tragedies which you know they are coming because of certain things that you have done in the past because of your actions and because of the situation for example if you have not studied and you are still given the exam you know that a tragedy of failure is coming in your exams and then there are surprise tragedies there are accidents in our life which you don't know about for example you are going to the school and a car comes and bangs you that is an accident it is a surprise tragedy a near and dear one is diagnosed with a fatal disease that is a surprise tragedy now remember nature has a law for every problem there is a solution for every venom there is a anti venom for every lock there is a key similarly for every tragedy there is a hidden opportunity for you to grow in life just take any tragedy in your life identify what you have learned from that tragedy if you observe all successful people have achieved something big from a tragedy let us take some example so let us consider the case of yuvraj singh his issues began with breathing difficulties nausea and vomiting blood during india's successful run of the 2011 world cup he was diagnosed with cancer he underwent three painful chemotherapy cycles at the boston cancer center in the us he survived through life sucking disease and came up as a fighter this tragedy helped him improve his focus and after his recovery he was able to perform even better than before this was our hero yuvraj singh let us see some more examples after being cut from his high school basketball team he went home locked himself in the room and cried He wasn't able to speak until he was almost 4 years old and his teachers said he would never amount to much. She was demoted from her job as a news anchor because she wasn't fit for television. Fired from a newspaper for lacking imagination and having no original ideas. At age 11, he was cut from his team after being diagnosed with a growth hormone deficiency, which made him smaller in stature than most kids of his age. At 30 years old, he was left devastated and depressed after being unceremoniously removed from the company he started. A teacher told him. he was too stupid to learn anything and that he should go into a field where he might succeed by the virtue of his pleasant personality his fiance died failed in business had a nervous breakdown and was defeated in eight elections If you've never failed, you've never tried anything new.
So you saw all these examples which are telling us tragedies make us more strong. Now let me share you one personal example. In January 2002, I was giving my 12th standard examination and I was preparing for it for last one year. I wanted to crack those examinations in order to get a good college for engineering admissions. On 6 January 2002, my father expired. This till date is the biggest tragedy of my life. And I was cursing my life that why this happened to me at that moment. It was a big blunder for myself and my family. And my examination preparation went for a toss. If you ask me what I was thinking at that moment, I was cursing my life that day. But today, I see that tragedy is an inflection point in my life. Because of that event, I took the responsibility of my family. After my 12th standard, I went for a part-time job along with my engineering and I understood the value of money at the age of 18 years. I started doing this part-time job as a supervisor in a coaching class. Then I became an assistant professor there and slowly steadily I started teaching there. To be very honest with you, today whatever I am doing, why I am doing, the only reason is that event. If that event wouldn't have happened in my life, I would have done something else in my life. I would be doing some IT job in either India or in the US, but not this thing. Today, that tragedy in my life actually helped me grow in my life. So my request is, whenever you are undergoing through a tragedy, remember that is making you more stronger. Try to learn from it. Instead of getting into guilt or just cursing your situation, ask yourself a question what can I do now to come out of it, to make the situation better? Remember, all tragedies are opportunities in disguise. So, thank your tragedies. Request you to go through the questionnaire and prepare your action list right now. Thank you.